Okay, so the next uh, class of lipids that we're going to talk about are phospholipids. And phospholipids have a very similar structure to triacylglycerols uh, in that they start off with a glycerol molecule. that is bonded to two fatty acids so so far this looks exactly like a triacylglycerol uh, the big difference is instead of the third fatty acid uh, the glycerol is connected to a phospho group That is in turn usually connected to an amine group that started out as an amine alcohol. So an amino group here. All right. And so if we want to draw the structure of this molecule, uh, so we can start up here. It would be uh, first carbon on that glycerol. That's connected to a fatty acid. The second one is also connected to a fatty acid, and so we won't draw those structures again. But here's where they differ. This third carbon is connected to a phospho group, as I said. And then this uh, oxygen is then connected to uh, an amine group. So something like couple of carbons and then a an amine and since this is actually a quaternary amine this actually has a positive charge on it now the big difference uh, between this molecule of phospholipid and the other fatty triacylglycerols is that this group is very polar and of course the fatty acid tails are nonpolar and so there's actually sort of um, how this molecule orientates itself is that these uh, phospho group and the amine the polar head group actually sort of separates from the nonpolar uh, region of the phospholipid and sets up a molecule that usually uh, is drawn like this where we'll have the, the glycerol portion here and then we have our two fatty acid they're often called tails connected to it and the polar group the phospho and the amine group swing around to the other side They do that because this, of course, is very polar and it's hydrophobic, or excuse me, hydrophilic. And this region is nonpolar, hydrophobic. So it will spontaneously orientate itself into this uh, configuration. And this usually what sets up, sets up uh, either my cells or if you think about the phospholipid uh, bilayer for cells. Uh, this uh, polar end is hydrophobic, so that's what's pointed towards the aqueous solution, towards the water. And the nonpolar fatty acid tails orientate themselves inside uh, the membrane layer uh, to sort of get away from the water. And that's what sets up uh, phospholipid bilayers. The next class of lipids that we're going to talk about is glycolipids. And this is a type of lipid... Uh, where a fatty acid or some other type of lipid, but usually fatty acids, uh, is connected to a carbohydrate or 
some type of monosaccharide or disaccharide unit. Okay, and so uh, this will link up at the carboxylic acid end of a fatty acid. So if we drew a fatty acid here, okay, so if I drew that, and that would be the start of our fatty acid. If I drew this uh, hydrogen right on that oxygen, that would just be a fatty acid. But this actually will link up to a uh, carbohydrate. And it can be more than one carbohydrate, or it can just be one. I'll draw it as a disaccharide. But there's something like that. It would be a glycolipid with a fatty acid connected to a one or more mono, monosaccharide or a disaccharide or some type of carbohydrate molecule.